right, guys, I have a big Burlington haul to show you. It's a lot of big items, so you are going to see me kind of just reaching back and forth because it was just too much to have laid out on my desk or have in front of me. I had baby stuff. I have home decor stuff, uh, tons of good stuff. I spent like $180. I hadn't been to Burlington since like Christmas, and before that, I hadn't been since last year when things first opened back up in May. Um, I used to go to Burlington all the time. Love Burlington. It's in a shopping plaza where I live. So it just, it's a very like high trafficked area. So um, there's like a little thrift store in that area my boyfriend goes to a lot. So a lot of times he'd run into the thrift store. I would run into Burlington. So I definitely missed it. And um, I'm not sure when I'm going to put it in order, but I have a Dollar Tree haul that has baby items in it because I have a baby shower. So that's specifically why I went. I was like, let me get the rest of the baby shower gift done. And then of course, I always stop at the home decor section because they have beautiful things. So let's start with the first thing. They had a whole section when you walked in with all different brands of disinfectant wipes and hand wipes and hand sanitizer and all that stuff. So um, I had just gone to like CVS the other day, like on Friday, and I saw Lysol wipes again. And that was the first time I've seen Lysol wipes in a long time. But it definitely went up since COVID and I'm cheap. So I was like, you know what? They didn't have like a knockoff version. I usually would buy like, you know, like the great value if I'm at Walmart or whatever version of the, of, you know, the generic version is. So I was like, ah, eh, I'll get, pick up wipes somewhere else another day. So, cause I still have some, you know, I don't want like a huge stockpile. I'm not one of those people, but I will be running out soon. So when I went to Burlington and I saw this, it was wipe out and you get 240 wipes. Two of them are lemon and one is fresh. And it was only $9.99. So I want to say the Lysol ones were like $5.49 or $5.99 for one. And you only got, I don't know, like 80 wipes, I think. So this is definitely a better deal. Could have been because it was Walgreens too. Did I say CVS before? It was Walgreens. They're all the same to me. Because um, I don't usually go into those kind of stores. I usually get my stuff at, um, you know, like um, bigger stores where it's cheaper, like a Walmart. But um, I had... I just wanted to do a quick run in after work. It was near my house and I needed something specific. So, but anyway, so I picked it up while I was at Burlington. So it was worth me waiting the extra two days. And then I grabbed, I went into the kitchen section quick um just to poke around you guys are gonna see something beautiful i bought but i saw glassware i ended up even buying a cute little set for my mom i already dropped that off i'd show it to you guys they had the double insulated the cups they're like super on trend right now if you guys know what i'm talking about it's like two, it almost looks like two cups like one cup is sitting inside of another cup it was two pack cappuccino mugs for 9.99 and she's been wanting double walled cups so i picked those up for her but they had a friend section and I, whenever it comes to like trademark items, I have a hard time saying no. Whenever it's like friends, Gilmore Girls, Golden Girls, because I just love that those shows. Um, so they had stemless wine glasses. They had two packs, three packs, and they had this. I think this is a tumbler style one. Is that what you call that? No, I don't think so. But it's just like the taller bar cups, I guess. Uh, beer glasses maybe um so I said you know what Tay limit yourself you can get one so I could have got one that said friends um or they had like how are you doing which is like Joey's catchphrase but I went with the Central Park one I have a Central Park mug so I'm like ah, it kind of matches and I got myself this one this was three ninety nine. dollars want to get a friends fan they had the office too I never watched the office I tried I tried I didn't really like it but don't kill me if you like The Office. And no, I didn't start at season one. I tried an episode that people say are hilarious when Steve Carell's character drives his car into the lake. And I just didn't laugh. I'm not a dry humor person. Um, but they definitely have a lot of nice trademark items for cheaper. They had Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. So definitely a good place to go if you want to buy gifts for someone. So in that Dollar Tree haul, I, if I, I'm not sure which one I'm going to post first. Um, but definitely check out... Um, if I post the Dollar Tree haul first, I will link it down below. If I post this one first, then just, you know, subscribe to the notification bell if you want to see the Dollar Tree haul. But I mentioned how I went to a Dollar Tree farther away and how I had a huge craft to square section. But I wasn't allowing myself to buy crafts because I just limited space in this apartment. But I could not help myself for two things. They had black canvases. I have never seen a black canvas before. I was like, that is such a cool concept. And it was $7.99 for three. Or they had one, I think for $4.99, but it was it was thinner. It wasn't as thick, but it was bigger. 
But I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the three pack for $7.99. So I'm not even sure I'm going to put this. I'm going to have to like shove this under my desk. But that's the only good thing because I do use an ottoman. I mentioned that video. All well, my craft storage is in the ottoman I'm sitting on right now. So, because it's a very small apartment, so I have to do a lot of double duty furniture. So that's why I went with the ottoman. But I can't be here for too long on my back hurts because there's nothing like to support my back. But I mentioned how the ottoman is full. And I told myself I could not buy any more craft items because the ottoman was full. But this one I fit in my ottoman either way. But um, that's the only good thing is under my desk, I do have like a free space because there's no chair under it if you know what i'm trying to say so i will have to shove this under there but i had never seen a black canvas before so i was like oh my god i have to get that and then to go with the black canvas because this was right on that aisle i just thought it was such a cool concept it's paint sticks so it says how it's um mess free uh you get 24 paint sticks and it says how it's uh hassle-free setup mess free cleanup you get 12 bright colors six luminous metallic colors six dazzling neon colors and it says literally just open and paint no brush no water no fuss quick drying means no drips and no spills and then it says works on paper cardboard wood glass dark surfaces and more so i was like wow this is absolutely amazing i love the concept of it i love the colors it came with and it was only 12.99 for 24 of these paint sticks uh and you can see all the colors back here so you can see the really cool metallic shades. So there's metallic gold, metallic silver, metallic magenta, metallic green. Sorry, guys. I know you're getting the glare from the ring light. Metallic blue and metallic purple. And then there's six neon, neon pink, neon orange, neon yellow, neon green, neon blue, and neon purple. And then these are like the traditional colors. You got white, red, orange, yellow, light green, dark green, blue, dark blue, magenta, purple, brown, and black. So I was like, oh, I'm going to allow myself to get this with my new canvases. I will be on spring break next week. So maybe I'll take some time to get on my creative side. It's been a long time since I painted. I love to paint. During quarantine, I never picked it up, which is surprising because I had a lot of free time. But I was just doing more word searches and um, adult coloring and stuff like that. So let me grab. So like I said, the whole point of me going, so this is going to be kind of random, was for baby stuff. Let me show you three quick things before I get into the baby stuff. So I actually picked up a big version of this from Amazon. Basically, it's a, um, what do you call this? It's like um, a trimmer, I guess is what you would call it. You lay your piece of paper, you make sure it's straight. Because every time I cut with scissors, it's never straight. It always, you know, I always lean a little bit. And then I end up having to cut more and more, and it makes it super short. So this is like you would make sure it lines up with the ruler. And then you push the blue tab across, and it cuts the paper perfectly. I bought a big version from Amazon for like 15 bucks. Uh, around valentine's day for a craft i was doing for my boyfriend so i saw that they had this little version for 4.99 i said that's actually perfect for little pieces of paper um what i made did for him for valentine's day was i did valentine's day cards from dollar tree and but what i did was i just used the cover so i cut the back of the card and i glued them onto uh to, like a poster board so i just thought you know what for smaller projects like that this one's even better so that was 4.99 this was as soon as I walked in. I absolutely fell in love with this. I have been really digging um, layered necklaces. So, and it's like a really pretty silver chain. It's from Steve Madden. And this was only $7.99. Perfect if you have a teenager in your life um, or girlfriend, whatever. Definitely. Burlington is like the place to go for gifts. That's why I get, went for Christmas. So, they would definitely love this. I know I loved it. And I grabbed it. And I love even like just the packaging. Like how cute is this? It's like a snake skin print. This is even probably like, look, like this was, I don't know if this was left over from Christmas. Who cares? But it's like ready to go to hang like as an ornament or something. Super cute. And then my boyfriend was in the men's department. You're actually going to see a few things from the men's department for me. But um, you'll, I'll get to that. Uh, so when he went into the hat section, he loves hats. He has a huge hat collection. I saw I am from the Boston area. Um, people ask all the time my accent's from. So um, I love the Celtics, the Red Sox, the Patriots. I mean, I'm not a huge sport person. Actually, my favorite sport is basketball. And I just love everything Celtics is always green, which is fine. But I'm like, I'm very matchy matchy. So this is the first time I've ever seen a Celtic hat in pure black. So I was like, oh my God, I want that. And it was only $7.99. So I picked that up. Um, I do wear baseball caps a lot in the summer. So, and then, like I said, the original point was to go for baby shower gifts. So if you guys, it's definitely worth watching the whole, I got name brand items at Dollar Tree. They had Disney baby items, Mickey Mouse. They had it in Minnie Mouse. They had Sesame Beginnings with Big Bird and Elmo and Cookie Monster. 
I got tons of good stuff. So I am making her a little gift basket. I will film it. I have everything but the basket. So I'll pick up the basket in a few days. Her shop was not till the end of the month, but I definitely like to get ahead. I hate last minute shopping. All my Christmas shopping was done in October. Um, so I always like to do like a themed basket. So I decided to go with the Disney baby Mickey theme since I got her Disney baby Mickey items from Dollar Tree. I don't want to say what I got. I don't want to ruin it. Go watch the video. So I grabbed this three piece set. So you get the cute little bandana bib. This is her first boy. She has two girls. Um, it's just a drop off baby shower. But And then you get a cute little onesie with Mickey Mouse on it. And you get the matching pants with his little ears and the stars. Super cute. This three piece set from Disney Baby was only $7.99. This is three to six months. So I got her that. This one was actually the most expensive, um, but it was so cute. I could not leave it behind. This one is not Disney Baby. It's actually Disney Junior. This one is, again, three to six months. Um, she's due in June, and, you know, three months from then will be, like, the fall. Six months from then will be, like, winter. So I thought it was appropriate because it is a little Mickey hoodie hooded sweater, and the hood has Mickey ears. I could not pass that up. And you just get a pair of blue pants that says Mickey Mouse. Um, I say expensive, but, I mean, it was $9.99 um, where these were, like, $7.99, and you got a whole extra piece, but for 2 bucks more, and it was just so cute. It was definitely worth it. So this one does actually have a Burlington tag. They put the Burlington sticker on the Disney tag. But I got that outfit. And then I grabbed these two. So these, this is the same exact shirt. But one is three to six months and one is six to nine. So once the baby outgrows this shirt. Well, it's not a shirt. I'm lying. It's a onesie. Sorry, guys. Once it outgrows this onesie. It will have another one for the next size up. But the shirt in the front is different. So it was worth getting it for me. Again, Disney baby. So you have the one that just says Mickey Mouse with the little buttons down here at the bottom. This was $7.99 for two. And then you get the one that's red with all Mickey. And then again, same exact thing. Disney baby, two piece, $7.99. All red with all Mickey faces. And then this one in the front that says Mickey that says awesome with Mickey's face and the stripes. So she got three little bundled, four little bundled outfits. So she got two pack of two onesies. She got this little outfit right here with the hoodie and the pants. And then she got this three piece outfit with the onesie, the pants and the bandana bib. And then she got a package of socks, which was a Mickey Mouse as well. This was only $3.99 and you get six pack of socks so you got mickey with the blue stripes you can tell i like going with a theme they all match you got mickey with the red you got mickey ears and then you got let's flap it open you got this one that says i love mickey this one with the star and mickey with the star so it all goes together disney baby as well so she'll have a whole little mickey mouse basket thing like i said I, if that interests you definitely subscribe hit the notification bell i will upload when i am making her basket so like i said my boyfriend was in the men's section and he kept showing me shirts he was like oh i think you'd like this shirt he was in the big and tall section he likes his stuff really loose he is definitely not a big and tall i mean he's not slim he's probably like a 2x and that's because he likes it loose he can probably get away with an extra lodge but he likes it loose so i don't know why he was in the big and tall section but he was um he fell in love with so many shirts and he's like oh my god they only have the 4x they don't have the 2x uh but anyway he saw a few that he thought i would like and i was like oh a 4x in men it would be nice and big and oversized and loose which i love which is hard to find for me so i was super excited so i got this nasa one and this was only 7.99 let me make sure i'm not lying to you guys i'm lying 8.99 so you got NASA in the front. I am i don't know how I feel about the back. You guys tell me. The back says NASA again, and it has a bunch of mushrooms. I don't dislike the back. I just feel like people are going to be thinking, like, drugs. And I'm not a drug user, but, I mean, that's fine. It's not a big deal, but I absolutely love the front. So I said, you know what, I'm going to get it, despite the back. And then this one I actually saw because I said, oh, I never thought about coming to the big and tall section for me. So I was like, started looking through. This one I absolutely love. It is so incredibly soft and it has like a tie-dye grayish look to it. And then it has a wicked nice skeleton hand holding a rose. I love skeleton stuff. And one side says sinner and the other side says saint, 
love it and then the back has the same thing the sinner and the saint with the hands but then going around the circle it says good vibes only learn from everyone follow no one so i just thought it was so cute and it is so incredibly soft i will wear that all the time i love gray it's like my favorite color i love tie-dye i'm wearing a cute little tie-dye sweater right now this is going to be in a walmart haul coming up i am on spring break next week i plan on finishing the organization of my walk-in closet and filming some try-on hauls finally i'm so excited maybe i will try these on for you too because i am gonna have like a t-shirt haul so i can throw this in there if that interests you like i said definitely subscribe and then this one was the most expensive this one was also $8.99 but it's because it's name brand it's michael kors and it's just a classic black and white and it is 17.99 so it was literally um nine dollars more than those shirts just because the name brand but the original tag literally says 50 bucks the michael kors tag so definitely a steal it was less than half off so i grabbed those for me so let me show you what else I got from Burlington. So I grabbed this. This was on clearance for $3.50. So you can see it right there. It was originally $9.99. I have like a whole ottoman in my living room. I love ottoman storage. When you got a small place, you need storage. But I have a whole ottoman in my living room that has puzzles. I did that a lot during quarantine. Card games, board games, because I wanted to have people over. And sadly, I haven't had anybody over. I had like two friends for Friendsgiving and that was it. Um, because I love having like game nights and all that stuff. This apartment is very small too. The living room is not that great for company. Um, it's a lot of stairs. My mom has never visited my place. So we are thinking about starting to look into moving, which we've only been here a year. So it kind of sucks, but it's just, uh, it's a lot smaller than we thought it was going to be once we put our furniture in. But anyway, so I grabbed another one. It was only 350. I could not help myself. It's called Party Bowl. And basically, it comes with um, cards. So it says, like, a breakfast food, an actor, a body part. And then you get little slips of paper, and you people have to write different answers to the card. So, like, a breakfast food, the example they put is cereal. And then you throw it, you mix it in, it, so it comes with the bowl. And you literally pull pieces of paper out, and you have to act it out. And people have to um guess what you're acting out without you know and you can obviously yeah you can, you have to act that with no words and it says it comes in with it comes with 200 write-in sheets so eventually as i run out of those i would have to like buy my own it comes with a sand timer pencils it says you can do 30 minute versions to 60 minute versions to 90 minute versions and three up to 20 players so just this just looked really fun and it's from that company what do you mean um with that meme game so i was like you know what for 350 i'm gonna scoop that up maybe not in this apartment maybe my next apartment i'll finally have some game nights i don't know and then i scooped this up this was 12.99 i have something similar to this that i got from um five below and it has four slots just like this uh but it doesn't have this right here which holds the phone so i thought that was really cool i have i'm now that my desk is finally cleared i mentioned that in that video as well i finally organized my desk because i also want to start doing planning and journaling videos for this channel so i'm going to move that usb thing that i bought from fiber onto my desk so that way i can plug a bunch of things in at once like my tripod light my laptop my tablet whatever and then i'm gonna put this one on the side of the bed for my cell phone my boyfriend's cell phone and then it also holds the phone which is really cool so i picked this up um i mean the one from five below is obviously like half the price but it doesn't have the little holder so i was like whatever for the little holder and it's a cute little color it's worth it and honestly i had not seen that at five below again since i bought it and then this i always grab something sweet every time Burlington gets me in that checkout aisle um i love this brand i've gotten these wafer before but i've gotten like the hazelnut the cookies and cream that day i did not see vanilla but i saw it today so and these are super cute too for gift baskets guys because it's okay because it's like got milk and you can do a whole little like cool snack cookie basket um you know with coffee tea so just throwing ideas out there because i love gift baskets and that is just so cute and it's 3.99 for this obviously dollar tree has their own version for a dollar but it's a lot smaller you get a lot less cookies so for only a few bucks more you get this whole thing you can even like save the tin if you're into that i can't save things because i don't got room for that but if you have something specific you think you can use it for all right so now let's get into 
decor. So my living room is purple. I absolutely love it. Um, so I thought this would look perfect in the living room. And even if we do end up moving, um, I would purple is my favorite color. So I would still make this work for me. Um, if it's like an apartment where I can paint, maybe I will paint it purple or gray. I love gray, gray and purple together. Gray is like my favorite neutral and purple is my favorite color. So I just love that it was a flower and it was a purple flower and it has like the rounded edges. So, and it was only $5.99 and I have seen that name brand over and over and over again at Burlington. Don't even know how to say it, but I just thought this was so cute for only six bucks. So I picked that up. And then me and my boyfriend were talking about wanting to get like a nice, big, beautiful, like heavy wooden um, bowl to make a fruit basket out of. We have a very small fruit basket right now. We just bought at Walmart when we were moving into this place. And a lot of times it's like overflowing. So I was telling him, I was like, oh, while we're here, let's see if we can find a really cute um, fruit bowl. And then my plan is to use that one as like a bread bowl for when we have dinner. I can lay out like a really pretty tea towel and put the bread in it because we do have bread a lot with our meals we are portuguese we have portuguese bread in this household at all times my father works for a portuguese bakery i get bread every single day so or if i ever have company i can put dinner rolls it's just a really cute open weave metal basket so i think it'll be really cute for like bread so this is the one we got to use for a fruit bowl and i thought it was really cheap when i first saw this i said okay it's gonna be 25 bucks i don't know if i'm gonna spend that let's see it's handcrafted in india i love that it even it's like a really like unique item they even had items made in portugal which i've bought in before like serving trays and stuff but it was actually only 14.99 it literally says compared to 23.99 so it i wasn't too far off on why I, you know that it was like $25 because that's what it would have been in a regular store according to Burlington and I just love the pattern on the outside and my dining room table is brown so it kind of goes with that look so we are going to transfer our fruits up in here so that is that and then this I just thought it would be really cute in my sink um it is just a sink mat and it says you can trim to fit any size sink and I never even thought about this. I was like, wow, I've never even heard of a sink mat. My mom's never used one. But it literally says protect sink dishes and glassware from unwanted scratches and cracks. Wipes clean in seconds. And I said, oh, I never even thought of that. Because, you know, it's you could get scratches and cracks when you're just putting your silverware in, like, a, you know, in a rough, not rough, but it's like, you know, a very heavy duty metal sink. So this helps like soften the blow a little bit. And they had this in tons. They had one with like an Eiffel Tower in the middle. They had really cool ones. They had one that was all blue stones. But I like that this was just like kind of like a muted pink. And it was cheap. It was only $2.99. So we grabbed that for the sink. And then, all right, I just got two more pieces to show you guys. I kind of wanted your opinion because I said, we are thinking about moving, so I keep debating if it's worth putting these up now or just saving them until we move. But we do have a little bar cart. Um, it holds like wine bottles underneath. Um, and then on top, I have like a floral print, which it like doesn't go with what I'm trying to do at all. And I think I've been thinking about moving the floral print into the living room. So I was thinking I would really like to put something above the bar that shows it's a bar, if that makes any sense. So they had two of these with different sayings from Burlington for only $9.99 and this one says a good day starts with coffee and ends with wine and I love the black frame I love the silver on the inside but I still feel like it goes because it has like that brownish look over here in the middle so I, I figured side by side I could put this one and then this one this is the one I saw first well, they were in totally different sections. This was like when you walked in and that was like in the actual home decor section. And then this one says uncork and unwind. So I thought this would look super cute side by side above the bar. So you guys tell me, do you think it's worth putting up now or do you think I should wait? Because I honestly don't know and I would love some opinions. But that, oh wait, I just saw one more thing I forgot to show you guys. And then the last thing, um, I just thought this was super cute. It says, our home, our life, our story, our memories, our love, our dreams, this is us. I do have a, um, it's not a photo, what do you call it, a scrapbook. Um, I have a whole highlight reel on my Instagram. I always link that down below if you guys want to see it. So I always plan on adding pictures to my scrapbook. But a scrapbook is a lot more complicated because 
it's not just you putting a picture on a page. You know what I mean? You have to, you know, usually you do doodles, you write captions, you use washi tape. If you look through, I made, I did my whole first year with my boyfriend from when we first met to our first anniversary going in order. And I went all out with it. It literally took me months to do. So I thought, there's still tons of pages and eventually I will add to it. But I thought for now, maybe I could just hold our pictures in this. Because I have tons of like photo envelopes with just tons of pictures in them. And this is just a very quick, easy project. Because you literally just throw the pictures in the sleeves versus a scrapbook. And I just thought it was really cute. Has like the Thai accent. It looks almost like it's wooden and then i just thought the sayings on it were really cute um i have like a this is us sign in our bedroom i love stuff like that and it was only 5.99 maybe i'll even do throw this in and be like hey happy anniversary and i'll make this our anniversary gift this year in august um but that is everything i got at burlington love that store but i just have not been shopping a lot due to covid and trying to save money i definitely didn't save money today but it was worth going you guys saw how good that stuff was priced for the baby stuff and then you know i got stuff for the house and i got disinfectant stuff and you know it's okay to spend money once in a while and i have canceled tons of boxes hence why i want to start doing try on hauls why i want to start doing journaling planning videos because i am not going to be so much a boxing channel anymore i'm an unboxing channel i still have some boxes i still have my walmart beauty box i still have my aia beauty and i still have fab fit fun i went from like 10 boxes to three so i still will be filming those three boxes for you guys i still get mystery boxes from time to time literally just posted a bombay and cedar one on friday if you guys want to check that out i'm about to post a makeup geek one but I do want to branch out. I still want to film. I still want to have content for you guys. So instead of just having constant boxes coming in, I just want to start doing different things. Obviously, I'm buying clothing, so it's not... I'd still be buying things for the channel, but it's things I genuinely need. Uh, but, you know, I'm not going to always be buying clothing. I'm thinking about doing styling video for you guys. I can show you guys, like the basics for a plus size woman and make that a video with my base all the basics i own t-shirt video show you guys how i style my t-shirts um you know spring wardrobe and show you guys my you know what i mean and i can include links and i can find similar items uh fashion's always been like my number one love i was really into journaling for a while and then everything all that shit that went down in 2020 i just stopped journaling i got into like a major depression which is bad i should have actually journaled it might have helped more but i'm starting to pick up pick back up into it again especially now that i have a nice organized desk i did it yesterday and i feel a million times better just having a nice organized desk again so here is me telling you take some time find a place that bothers you and organize it it is so worth it, it took me like four hours i had stacks and stacks of stuff guys uh i had stuff underneath i had so much stuff it's just really hard because the apartment is so small um i literally had to i've been giving things away seriously um that's why you know I'm thinking about looking for a bigger place. But tell me, would you guys hang those pictures? Should I just hold on to them? Comment down below. Do you guys love Burlington? Do you guys shop at Burlington? Is it your shop? Is it your kind of store? Or are you more into department store kind of thing? I love that they had so many different name brands. I literally saw Arapostel. I literally saw Old Navy. And then you see like higher end, like, you know, Guess, Levi, Michael Kors. I, I love, and I love stores that have like everything. Like literally they have clothing. They have baby. They have plus size. They have men. They have big and tall. They have decor totally my jam so comment down below tell me if that's your jam too um like the video if you like Burlington, if you like me if you like hall to help you know helps with the youtube algorithm but that is it guys be safe